what luxuries are the pigs entitled to? All, All the luxuries. luxuries. Less luxuries, less luxuries. Well, that settles it. The pigs get unlimited luxuries. Yay! What are the goals of the Animal Farm Communist Party? We will educate the masses and manage crop yields. Would you like to elaborate on how you manage yields? We will give food to those who need it. Very convincing. Moving on, what are your thoughts on the defense of the farm? We should have a peace sideline, organized under one central leader. I agree, as long as that I am the leader. No, I lose to the Victoria Cow Shed. I am a genius. You are not. That's the last straw. Sick of boy! <laughs> What about all the chickens? <laughs> no! no, you're so close. <laughs> now that Snowball is gone, I would imagine the windmill argument is pretty one-sided. It better be. Napoleon is always right. Anyways, Boxer, how much work do you think each animal owes the farm? Well, I for one will work harder. I know, and every other animal should do the same. What about all the chickens? Should they have to do the same amount of work as Boxer? All animals are equal, and all animals are working. Okay then, what do you all have to say about the dismantling of animalistic principles? What dismantling? The Seven Commandments are right there. They've been blatantly written on an altar. They seem fine to me. So here are the Seven Commandments. Whatever goes, whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. No animal shall wear clothes. No animal shall sleep in a bed with sheets. No animal shall drink alcohol to excess. No animal shall kill any other animal without reason. And all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Don't look at me. I can't read them. I agree with you, old man. Pigs are perfectly within the law to sleep in a bed. Hey! hey. Ah. Calm two down, legs bad, calm legs down. Good. Two legs bad, four legs good. Two legs bad, four legs good. Two legs bad. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What are all of your views on the education of wild and civil animals? I will take them while they're still young and educate them and teach them. How to obey my orders without any question. It's an excellent process, believe me. Yes, yeah, so listen to the dog. This seems really one-sided. That's because there's only one right answer. All right then, at what age is it acceptable for animals to retire? 14 years old. 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, 12, 16, All right, I lost him. Anyway, sheep only live to be 12, and pigs have been known to live for up to 20 years of age. Dogs live, on average, between 11 and 13 years. It would seem that the only animals who get retirement are pigs, horses, and donkeys. Speaking of which, donkeys can live, up, live for up to 40 years old, but old Benjamin will do any work you ask him to do, and Boxer won't ever stop working. The pigs are going to be the only ones who will end up retiring, but they like their job of ruling over the other animals, so they won't retire either. So no one will get to retire. Hey, where's 
Chickens. <laughs> 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 